So this is definitely unit conversion. We can see minutes, hours, things like that. Um, we also have this percentage in here. I, I wouldn't try to force that into the system that we've been using. I would just kind of deal with it at the end. So Lonnie spent 15% of her eight hour workday in meetings. How many minutes of her workday did she spend in meetings? So I would just say, let's, we've got um, eight, eight hours is how many minutes? I would do something like that. And then we know that one hour is 60 minutes. So a lot of you are going to set this up with just a ratio instead, but it, you know, just to show you, it, it still works the normal way. So eight times 60 is 480. And that's the number of minutes total in the workday. Now I'm glad that that's not an answer choice, but I, I'm surprised actually it, it, it could be because a lot of people are going to just stop short and just do the conversion and ignore the fact that we need to do the 15 minutes. But in the same way that this table uh, allows us even on easy unit conversion questions to stay organized and set good habits for when things do get harder. If we have a percentage question, we should use the open formulas even when it's easy so that when it's harder, we're prepared. So in this case, it's 15% of. So we're going to use the normal open formula, the one that just looks like the word open. O stands for the original amount. So we have 480 uh, minutes originally in the day. 15%, so we write that as a decimal, and we're looking for the new number. How many is 15%? So we just do 480 times 0.15 in the normal calculator, and we get 72 is N. Is that an answer? Yes, and that's it. Um, I would say another thing to worry about in a question like this, it didn't end up mattering, but it just kind of crossed my mind, is they're saying she spent 15% in meetings, uh, I could see a harder version of this question asking how many minutes of her workday did she spend not in meetings or some phrasing like that, right? Where they kind of flip it and then it ends up being not that we want the 15%, but we want the other 85%. And so you could convert that either by doing the, uh, the percent as a different percent or once you got your 15%, just subtract that out. But that is a classic SAT move. Usually if they did that, they would like underline the word not so that it's supposedly obvious, but people miss it anyway. So just always keep in mind that there are potential places where traps are going to happen, even on questions that are otherwise easy. So keep your eyes and look, uh, looking out for them. And you know, if you know that they could show up at any point, you're much more likely to notice when they do.